Hey everyone, I'm Kibastic and in this video I want to talk about my collection of puzzles. During the last years I have gathered a huge collection of puzzles and here I have only a few of them on my desk. But I assure you these are the most interesting ones which have their own history or their own uniqueness or those uh, that are simply important to me, the one I love the most. You will find out more about them today. And you will also see some new puzzles, videos of which I have not yet published. Guys, most of all puzzles of 2021 are collected here. And since uh, this year I probably released a record number of videos, we will go more or less through the chronology of my videos. And together we will remember the heroes of these videos, the puzzles. For example, there were a lot of homemade puzzles. And I started this year with a cube, which I customized by painting with water. It was really popular on YouTube to paint things with paints which were applied to the surface of the water. So I colored the Rubik's Cube, but the very fact and all the interest was uh, that then I had to solve it and the result turned out to be quite cool. These are the patterns and of course I managed to solve it. I ran into some difficulties to make this Rubik's Cube, but nevertheless there is a video about it on my channel as well as about each of these puzzles. Therefore, at any time you can go over and watch this or that video that you remember or suddenly that you have not seen. I'm very proud of this one, Rubik's Cube YouTube button. I made this puzzle in conjunction with 100,000 subscribers and getting the silver button. When the silver button came to me, I decided to make a fully functioning Rubik's Cube in the form of a button. Over this year, more than half a million people have subscribed to the channel. We are so close to 1 million and I'm sure that this is not the limit. Therefore, those who are watching this video now and are not subscribed to the channel, I recommend you to subscribe in order not to miss the most interesting, coolest videos about solving puzzles, about creating unusual things and more. In general, folks, really, subscribe to the channel if you suddenly didn't. I will be so pleased if you show your activity as a gift, as a token of gratitude for the tremendous work I have done in order to create all these things. I still remember how I was creating this cube and I did it for several days. I researched several technologies and how you can do it all. We even bought tools specially for this, which eventually didn't use. And this is not the first version of this cube. I do a lot of work outside the videos, making prototypes of my puzzles. And I will show you this using my paper Rubik's Cube as an example. This, folks, is a fully functional 3x3 that I made out of paper. Yes, it is turning, and I even managed to solve it. Not really fast, because you need to turn it carefully, but I will say that it turns much better than some of my puzzles a few years ago. A fully functioning Rubik's Cube made of paper, and I came to realization of this idea in a few months. I've been working for several months, looking for skins for how this can be done. I made some of the same functional Rubik's Cubes, but they weren't perfect. And only later, when I spent a lot of time messing up, a lot of paper, I came to this fully working, ideal prototype. I really like it, and I hope you like it too. And a full video of its creation is on my channel. But you will not see in this video the month-long work that have been done on it. For homemade puzzles on the channel, there were also such interesting things as a chain of such bagel cubes. This is quite a funny thing. It looks unusual and rare. These are such void cubes, uh, these are 3x3 three three with a hole inside, and I have to saw them, insert them into each other, glue them again and solve them. They are fully functional and this is a pretty cool puzzle that I can call impossible, because it is, well, it is impossible. Also, both of these cubes are fully functional and can be solved, and there is also a separate video about this on my channel. What else homemade puzzles do I have? There are a variety of sticker mods, and today I have one of them. Unfortunately, I have not found a more interesting model, but this is Rubik's Cube Sudoku. It seems that the numbers are simply glued on this cube, but no, guys, it is not that easy. 
To solve this cube you need to think well, because the task is to ensure that not a single number is repeated on each side. And no matter how we turn, and even if we make it uh, that on one side, for example, there will be no repeating elements, then in any case it will be present on the other side. You will see the video of solving it on my channel a little further. Probably the most dangerous Rubik's Cube I made this year, and it was quite recently also handmade. Really creative, a bit dumb, but of course funny. This is a sharp Rubik's Cube, the most dangerous Rubik's Cube in the world. Of course, I screamed in pain, pricked all my fingers while I was solving it with the timer. These are tremendous emotions, I am glad that there is a place for such puzzles on my channel, this is pretty interesting. And it looks pretty dangerous in fact, really, just look at it. Well, let's move on to probably the most important handmade products in my life, to which I really walked for a long time. As most of you probably know, I have a new hobby, 3D printing, and I decided to print the Rubik's Cube with my own hands with a 3D printer. Oh, you really don't know how much time and effort it took me to do this here. A complete, working, fully functioning speed Rubik's Cube model. Yeah, it's not perfect, but just watch how it turns. I suffered a lot, spent a lot of plastic, a lot of time and a lot of energy. But nevertheless, folks, we did it, really. You asked me to create it, and I did it. I hope you are subscribed and you will not miss this video that will be released soon. A really nice feeling. Also using 3D printing, I made my third Rubik's Cube for the blind people. One of the most popular videos on my channel is how I made a Rubik's Cube with a 3D pen, but now I have remodeled and created a Rubik's Cube for the blind people using 3D printing. This is uh, based on an ordinary 3x3 Rubik's Cube, but I completely remodeled these stickers, created and glued them onto the cube. It can be solved with closed eyes, without watching it and focusing only on tactile sensations. But now of course I will not do this. Nevertheless, this Rubik's Cube is worthy in my collection of puzzles. Perhaps sometime, probably next year, I will teach a blind person to solve a Rubik's Cube. I really hope that this will happen. This is one of my dreams that I really want to fulfill. And so we smoothly got to 3D printing. As you can imagine, 3D printing, my new hobby, appeared for a reason. In order to print new puzzles. But before I show them to you, I really want to say thanks to the puzzle store thecubicle.com for supporting my channel throughout this year and beyond. For the fact that we work closely together, and they constantly delight me with new puzzles, send them to me so that I can show them to you, and some of them are even on this table. The link to the store is in the description below this video. Go check what a wide variety of puzzles you may find there, and be sure to write in the comments what would you like from the assortment of the cubicle for your collection. Don't forget to use my special promo code CUBASTIC to get a discount on your order. Pick up the puzzle you like and enjoy as I do. So, coming back to 3D printed puzzles, this topic has occupied such a huge part of my channel because I do them often, I really like it. And naturally, not all of them I can show you now. I will show you probably my favorite ones, the most difficult ones to solve. For example, this is a box with a chain. I was just shocked after I printed it. First, take a look at what 3D printing is capable of. It is possible to print these details in full. This is a one piece, single piece print, a chain, which is impossible to create without the 3D print. There are no joints, no connections, this is just a plastic chain. It has always existed solid and it cannot be divided. So this is one detail and it seems as if several details are connected. And the task of this puzzle was to place this chain in a small box. As you can imagine, this is not easy to do. And after I solved this puzzle, I loved it so much that it appeared on a list of my favorites in my collection. Also, this puzzle got to this list. 
This is also a box in which you need to put something, but the problem is uh, that this box is already full, so it already contains gold stones, gold bars. They completely filled this box, but our task is to place another redstone here and at the same time close the box tightly. It is a puzzle from a really high category of difficulty, but nevertheless I managed to find a solution to this puzzle. You probably already understand why it is also on the list of my favorites. Because the solving guys just shocked me. I often call puzzles impossible not only to make it sound cool, but because it really makes sense. I call impossible uh, those puzzles that uh, seem unbelievable. For example, how? Tell me how can you fill in a completely filled box with an additional part? It's impossible, so here comes the name. I also had a lot of 3D printed puzzles, everyone probably remember these locks. It is a lock that is printed in a full while standing on the platform. The key in the lock is not a separate part, it is printed together. And our task is to get the key from the lock, but at the same time it must be guided through the maze that is inside and do it blindly, because we just don't see it. And there are 10 difficulty levels, there are 10 locks. Now there are only 4 of them in my hands, but nevertheless all 10, the creation and the solution of each, you can also see on my channel. Excuse me for repeating this phrase so often, it's just uh, that today we are reviewing my channel and my collection, and I think each of you must uh, see the best puzzles, because they are extremely interesting. For me, I don't know, it's the work of my life, mates. I really enjoy showing you cool, interesting puzzles and training our brains together. And there are not only small things in my collection, and this giant is also completely printed in one piece. Except for this little key. Our task with the help of this key is to open this box in the form of a large lock. The hardest part is that there are a huge number of mechanisms inside. They move, they interact with each other, and it is not clear what needs to be done and how it all happens. Pretty cool thing, especially considering that it is completely printed in one piece. Uh, and everything inside moves, everything works, and it is solved in several stages. So first you need to do one, then the second, then the third. Awesome thing! There were also such simple puzzles, but they are simple only at first glance. It is a frame that needs to be filled with something. This is for example is a puzzle that has already been solved. There are such puzzles here, but as you can see, they are all angular. People usually start solving puzzles with the corner piece, but here they are all like that. And it's not clear how it happens, but as you can see it is possible to solve it. One of the most difficult 3D printed puzzles for me was this one. It's called 7 waves, this is a classic puzzle, but its difficulty is uh, that no matter how hard you try, you simply cannot fit all 7 waves like this into this field. You just need to think really well and find a super non-standard way to do it. The level of non-standard solving inspired me, surprised me and that's why this puzzle is on my table today. There is also such a thing among them. At first glance it is not even clear what it is, but in fact there are numbers inside. And one, two, six and there are 10 of them. The task is to place them all on a plane so that there is not a single free space, so that they all fit in. This task, in addition to being difficult, is also damn cool. I like it so much, just like the next puzzle. This puzzle is called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, one was lost. This puzzle is called the Tower of Hanoi, it's ok, one ring is missing here, but the essence will be clear to you. Our task is to move the entire tower from the central element to any of the close ones. But the difficulty is uh, that we can only move one ring and move and put only the smaller ring on the larger one. 
so we cannot take this big ring and put it on the small one, this cannot be done. It took a long time for the great mathematical minds to solve this puzzle, and they even created several mathematical formulas. The history of this puzzle, its legend and its solution will also be on the channel very soon. And it's uh, the most uh, scientific probably, because uh, this is one of the few puzzles where mathematical knowledge is applied. After all, the task is not just to move the tower from one pillar to the second, but also to do it in the minimum number of moves. And they needed to be calculated. And I also really love when the puzzle has an essence, meaning some kind of subtext or just an interesting appearance. So this 3D printed puzzle is just a masterpiece, I think. This is a box containing children's toys. I'm not going to show it fully to you, not to spoil the solution, but inside this box are fully functioning children's toys. Car, airplane, teddy bear, and the task is to place all 14 toys, there are exactly 14 of them, in the box. An impossible task, especially if you are a small child who throws all the toys all over the room and your mom makes you gather them. Oh, here the puzzle was solved. It is also a 3D printed one. It is called the Devil's Puzzle. And the name is not so simple, because it is really hell difficult to solve. You can even say that it has no solution. And at one point I thought that all these details, and uh, there are only four of them that needed to be placed here, cannot be solved. And I thought this puzzle was called like that, because it just can be solved. As if it was some kind of joke, but no, I still found a way to do this. Because I was thinking outside the box at the moment, but the huge community of people on the internet who tried to solve this puzzle were so confused by its solution that they created a special program on the computer that randomly selected any possible positions for placing these uh, four elements in a frame with the inscription hard. And not a single computer and not a single program could find this position in many, many hours of work. You understand that uh, computing technology is now at a high level, but nevertheless I managed to solve it. And it was just wow. And let's move on to my favorite puzzles which I printed with a 3D printer, and they are so loud for a reason. Because this is again a Rubik's Cube, but not an ordinary one. Rubik's Cube 2 by 2 by 16. This is a completely fresh puzzle, I made and sold it just recently, you can see the video on the channel. But the thing is, this is, damn it, a fully 3D printed puzzle. So it didn't exist some time ago, I just printed a huge amount of small parts, combined them in such a way that each layer turns and interacts with each other. This is an amazing thing, this is such a worthy thing that it was simply impossible not to show it to you. Subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications, because in one of my following videos I will show you an interesting uh, wooden school puzzle. Don't miss this video. Also using a 3D printer I created the most difficult puzzle in my life. And I'm not exaggerating now. This is Excalibur. It became my favorite from the entire collection of all the puzzles I've ever seen or sold in my life. It was Excalibur that became the most beloved only because uh, firstly it looks incredibly difficult. The hard level. It has an idea, like uh, this is a stone, this is a sword from a fairy tale, from a legend, which must be taken out of this stone. Cool, there is a legend, okay. It's difficult, but it's yet not clear how difficult it is. This is point two. And three is uh, that I also created it myself. I printed it with a 3D printer using a special scheme that doesn't give me an advantage in solving uh, this puzzle. I created it, glued this cover and then I started to solve it. Some people think that since I created it I know how to solve it in advance, but no. This puzzle is as hard as you can even imagine. 
I've been solving this puzzle for many hours. I won't say how many exactly, but it took me several weeks to create this puzzle. This is also not uh, the first prototype, it's also a lot of work with hands, head and technique. But nevertheless, the puzzle is ready, I have it in my hands and at the moment it has already been solved. And this is probably my biggest achievement in puzzle solving during this year. There is also a puzzle similar to it, but simpler. This is such a lock in which uh, the key is uh, threaded through such a bow. And our task is uh, to open this lock. Uh, here it uh, has similar elements uh, for the solution, but it is much simpler, way easier. But nevertheless, it also took me a lot of hours to solve this puzzle. At this point I'm going to finish talking about 3D printed puzzles, but since we started talking about their complexity, let's choose the most complex not 3D printed puzzle from my collection. What do you think this puzzle is? You can see one of them right now, and I have already solved it. This is a 19x19 19 19 Rubik's Cube. This is the largest Rubik's Cube that can be purchased. There are 19 layers, and each of them turns. Each of them turns and interacts with each other. There are several thousand of these elements, the size of which is only a few millimeters. I scrambled it into a complete mass, into a complete chaos. I already had experience in solving large cubes, and I realized that it would be difficult to find every element out of several thousand and put each in its place. You have already seen the solution to this puzzle on my channel. If you suddenly missed it, subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. And you have to watch this video, it's definitely worth your attention. And from the same category, I have uh, such a... Cube? Not a cube? I don't even know what to call it. Examings. This is a mechanical puzzle that works uh, like a Rubik's Cube, but has 12 colors and 11 layers on each side. 11 layers and 12 colors. If you multiply all this, you can go crazy. Look, here we don't have 4 sides like a square, but 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then there are 12 sides and 12 colors, and the amount of layers is unbelievable. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't even know how difficult it will be to solve the thing. I didn't solve it and you will also see its solution soon on my channel. I'm simply afraid to assume how much strength it will take me. Talking about really difficult things, I had puzzles like Rubik's Egg. Unfortunately it has been scrambled. I didn't solve it because it is complex, it is not as difficult as uh, the previous puzzles, but let's say it seemed much easier. <laughs> really for a long time I was solving this thing and I will not devote much time to it now, if you want you can find this video on my channel. It was hard, really hard, but my favorite, the favorite of the challenge and puzzles is the impossible Rubik's Cube. If you think that it is now scrambled, then perhaps you are wrong, because most likely some part of it has been solved. Oh, no, it is scrambled. <laughs> I don't even see it. The fact is uh, that this is a unique Rubik's Cube for colorblind people. I named it like that because it is impossible to determine the colors at all. All elements are double colored. When we look at them from different angles, we see how the color changes. And it's unclear whether this is such an effect, or you are just colorblind, or it's just such a complex Rubik's Cube. In general, it's amazing. It was extremely difficult to solve it. But nevertheless, I coped with it, and of course not from the first time. I had to examine this puzzle for a long time. I have already shot a video about how difficult this cube is. Its original name, by the way, is an impossible Rubik's Cube. Uh, and I couldn't solve it. And only after several days of training at home, I still wanted to show you the solution. I've retaken this video and uh, it is now on my channel. But it was amazing. Now it is definitely scrambled, right? Damn, I shouldn't have done it. And also, this is one of the most beautiful cubes, which is so nice to have in the collection. 
Let's talk about other beautiful puzzles that look awesome and it's also not really clear what the hell they are. One of them is a completely fresh puzzle. It's called the Wheel of Time, the Rubik's Cube time machine, because of uh, this little deal. It's turning, see? This is the wheel. And there is such a wheel on each side. The fact is uh, that when you scramble a Rubik's Cube and then return the movements in the opposite direction, in the same order, it becomes sold. But here we can change the time simply by turning the wheel. And then, if we return the cube back, it will never be the same. I call this the butterfly effect, as uh, they say in cinema. Now if I do several movements, then I change the course of time and return these movements back. Then as you can see, something changes. I did literally a couple of movements, but look how strong the change is. This cube was also not easy to solve, but it was really interesting, very interesting, I recommend it for watching. Also, among the beautiful cubes, very soon you will see a video in which I solve the usual 3x3 cubes, which look really unusual. And there is one among them, this glass cube, it is also considered a collectible model. This is a Rubik's cube with translucent walls, it looks just amazing. We can even see the internal mechanism. Solving it, of course, is not so easy, simply because uh, it is uncomfortable to perceive colors. But nevertheless, we can observe the internal mechanism of each of the elements, especially here on uh, the white side. Awesome thing. Glass Rubik's Cube, I highly recommend it, it's an awesome thing. Also, probably among these puzzles uh, there may be this Rubik's Clock. Yes, that's what they are called. Rubik's doesn't only release cubes. There is also a Rubik's clock. The thing is so cool, it's difficult to explain to you now how it is sold. But nevertheless, I will make a tutorial and review on this puzzle this year. This is a clock where there are 9 dials uh, on one side and on the other. And depending on which button is pressed, which is uh, lowered and which of the 4 gears we turn, we have different dials that move. Our task is to turn it from the scrambled position to the one where all clock hands, all 18 pieces on one side and on the other look exactly at 12 o'clock. Interesting puzzle, I liked it. Naturally, in my collection there are also not only Rubik's Cubes, but also classic looking wooden puzzles, like this one, for example. You all remember what it is called. This is a black square, it works uh, like a redstone puzzle. The one where we need to place a redstone in an already completely filled box. Here you need to place a black square in a completely filled frame. The solution is amazing, I really enjoyed solving this puzzle, and it is also cool that it is made of wood and it smells insanely good. I really love wooden puzzles, uh, because uh, there is something so special in them. It is really cool. And among the wooden puzzles I also have such a thing, which I also truly call impossible. This is a ball on a string that needs to be released from here, but the thread is solid, as you can see, and it is intertwined through the column. How can you run a thread through it with so many complications? Well, it seems impossible, which is why it is called that. But nevertheless, I found the solution to this puzzle and got really excited about it. By the way, it smells amazing too. God, I love wooden things. And the results of such a thing made of wood. It already looks a little more modern, but nevertheless, here the main parts are made of wood. There are many of them here, they look like a jigsaw puzzle. It is a ship in a bottle. We have a narrow bottleneck, a lot of details. The most interesting thing about the ship is uh, that the design of uh, the elements on one side is different from the shape of the elements on the other side. There are two layers here, and you need to simultaneously put two levels of this ship in a bottle. Everyone associates a ship in a bottle with uh, something impossible, and uh, this puzzle is hard to solve too. Amazing thing, but this is not the last bottle puzzle, although it cannot be called a bottle. There is also this magic flask with a ball inside. It's just a troll puzzle. It's really weird and tough to solve. It's questioning your capabilities, questioning your brain. There is a red ball inside the flask and it is really difficult to get it out of there. And our task, in fact, is uh, to get this ball. And how to do this, you need to think here. Awesome thing. The solution, of course, surprised me. 
but nevertheless, the way it looks and the task that we face, it all just doesn't sum up in my head. Cool puzzle, I also really love this type of puzzle, I had a lot of them. Again, these are far from all the puzzles that I solved during uh, the last two years, this is only a small part of them, but nevertheless the most interesting. Also, I can call these games uh, puzzles too. You all remember the application on the phone where you had to get the car out of uh, the traffic jam simply by moving the rest of the cars like this. This is called uh, the rush hour puzzle, awesome thing, there are so many levels in it, many difficulties and many solutions. Uh, judging by your feedback on this video, you really really liked it. Also among such puzzles I have this Houdini. It looks unusual, just super unusual. At the heart of uh, this puzzle is uh, the figure of uh, the famous Harry Houdini, who was uh, popular because uh, he could get out of any feathers, any nuts and any chains. He even climbed out of a closed safe, which was thrown to the bottom of the river. Crazy guy. And a puzzle has been made using this topic. So we are chaining Houdini in all sorts of ways. We can put a rope through his legs, we can chain him with a lock, we can tie him with ropes and uh, at the same time some of the ropes are blocked by such a barrel at the end so that its uh, edge simply cannot pass here. And our task is to get Houdini out and free him. Yeah, this is probably the only thing about Houdini that he can't get out on his own. But the coolest thing is uh, that this puzzle has uh, 40 difficulty levels, and the 40s, by the way, are already solved. But you cannot find it so easily on the channel, it is hidden as an easter egg in one of the other videos. Try to find it, as I won't show it to you for now. There are a few puzzles left prepared for you today, for some reason I thought it would take longer, but nevertheless the worthy thing in my collection are the Soviet puzzles. They are really old, straight from the Soviet Union. They are of course shabby, clearly they are old and in really poor condition of poor quality, but nevertheless they are here. Puzzles that survived so many solvents that lived more than me, more than each of you most likely. This is a Rubik's Cube, one of the first ever created. Look, it's in such a bad shape. Also, among them uh, we have such a pyramid, uh, such a thing, I don't know what it's called. Here is such a barrel, in my opinion this is uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa or something like that and Rubik's Snake. Rubik's Snake is also an old thing, which also was really cool at its time. And what is the trick of the Soviet puzzles? Why do I love them so much, especially these three? And all because I had them when my path in the puzzle world began. Guys, I sold these three things on my own in kindergarten. Despite the fact that now it is difficult for me to cope with the Leaning Tower of Pisa, I was really proud that I was able to solve the pyramid on my own. Creating the algorithms understanding how it works and how it should be solved, and I did it straight several times in a row. At the age of 6, I was 6 years old when I sold the pyramids. No tutorials, no internet, no YouTube videos. But since we are talking about old puzzles, of course we need to talk about modern ones too, and they will be the last on our list. These are smart Rubik's Cubes, one of which you saw at the very beginning, the robot sold it. So this is the new step in puzzles, really. They are amazing, and each of these cubes that I have, these are smart cubes, they all connect to the phone, and uh, the application on the phone sees every movement I make on these cubes. An app on the phone can help us build it, and some of them, as you understand, are sold on their own. Also, among these puzzles there is such a smart cube, which I used to control games on my phone. Just think about what's going on! 21st century, what the? So technologically advanced and also so difficult, but nevertheless... Clever Rubik's Cubes. Guys, I don't have time to charge my devices, I also need to charge the cubes, can you imagine? But the most interesting is, of course, uh, this completely electronic cube. We need to find the power button. 
This Rubik's Cube can be solved by itself. You saw it in my video, of course, it has a really unusual shape and an uh, unusual form like this. This unusual electronic cube has motors that uh, turn each side independently. As you can see, the elements are moving. So two green ones were here, now they will be here when I turn the right side. A stunning cube that has a huge number of modes. It not only performs uh, the functions of an ordinary Rubik's Cube, it can also teach you how to solve, it can teach you how to interact with elements. It uh, can play some games uh, directly on itself. It can solve on its own, due to the fact that it has motors and it turns each side itself. And it also can dance. All this you will see in the video that I made about this Rubik's Cube. Well, now folks, we're getting close to an end. As you can see, there are a lot of interesting things in my collection and on my channel. And uh, I'm sure there will be even more of them in the future and more difficult uh, ones to come. Thank you all for watching, that was Cubastic, see you very soon, bye and have a good time. This video is sponsored by one of the best online puzzle stores in the world, thecubicle.com.